decomposition may be something you've never done before, but really decomposition is just pulling apart a function that has already been composed. So in composition, you have f of some function, we'll call it g. So this would be read f of g of x, and it would mean that the g function, whatever it is, would be inside the f function. So let's say we had f of x equals x plus 1 and g of x equals x plus 2. We're putting g of x inside f of x. So we take g of x and everywhere there's an x in f of x, we put x plus 2. So everywhere we see the x, we write x plus 2. And then we just simplify. So this means that f of g of x would be called x plus 3. So this is composition. Decomposition is pulling those two things apart. So let's look at a particular problem. Let's say we had h of x equal to 2x plus 3 cubed. And what we want to do is pull these two things apart. And the directions would have to tell you, they would have to tell you the two functions you're looking for. And usually they're going to ask you to decompose them into f of x and g of x. And they'll have to tell you which one goes inside the other. So they might say f of g of x. So what I'm saying here is I want you to pull this original one apart and turn it in to find f of x and g of x where g of x was the inner function and f was the outer function. So g of x went inside f of x. Well, if you look at this original function, you already see something that's inside. You can look at it and you can say, well, 2x plus 3, that's inside the parentheses. So we're saying something, the thing that's inside, is being cubed. So that something is the thing that's inside. So we can say that g of x is 2x plus 3. It's the thing that's inside. And it is being cubed. So we can say, well, for f of x, something, and you know in algebra when we say something, we use the variable. So we can say, well, something is being cubed. And if we wanted to check it, we could use our function notation and say, well, they're telling me that g of x is the inner function, so it is going inside the f function. So everywhere I see an x in the f of x function, I would write 2x plus 3, and it is being cubed, and this is what I had originally. So let's look at another one. So let's say we have h of x equals 1 over x plus 3 cubed. So if I look at this function, I'm saying, well, I've got 1 over something that is cubed. And they're telling me in the directions, they're going to tell me which function goes inside. So let's just say that they write it like this. And so this means that the g is inside. And they're asking me to find f and g. So I'm saying that the g is the function that inside. It's the thing that something is happening to. Well, I've got 1 over something cubed. The something is x plus 3. So you can always tell yourself, you can say, whatever um, the something is, that's the inner function. So I can use x plus 3 as my inner function. And I'm telling you, I'm saying, well, for h of x, I have 1 over something cubed. Whenever I can say that, that something is being done, that is the outer function. So for this one, my f of x is 1 over x cubed. My g of x is x plus 3, and I can check it. You can always go back up to the directions that they give you, and they're telling you that it was f of g of x. So it's saying that 
g of x is the inside, f of x is the outer, so we have f of x is 1 over x cubed, and this is telling me everywhere you see an x, write x plus 3. So I would put 1 over x plus 3 cubed, and that's what I started with. So that's how these decompositions work. You're pulling them apart and trying to find the two separate functions.